Update 1 on Tropical Storm Cimarron, which is currently located uh, just to the north of the Philippines, expected to move towards the northwest over the next 24 to 48 hours and then make landfall in China either as a very minimal tropical storm or as a tropical depression. Current wind speeds 40 miles per hour, pressure is 996 millibars. Position is 20.2 degrees north, 119.9 degrees east as of 3 p.m. UTC, July the 17th. Um, current warnings in effect, heavy rain for Taiwan, warnings there, um, and a blue typhoon warning now in effect for the coast of China. That's the uh, lowest um, typhoon warning signal for China. Signal 1 warnings in effect for the northern uh, Luzon region, the Babayan and the Batanas Islands in the Philippines in particular under signal 1 warnings at the moment. That's for 20 to 40 mile per hour winds um, but obviously th with the storm it's um, probably going to be more rain that's going to be the concern rather than the wind speeds because it obviously is a very weak tropical storm and will remain so. The sea surface temperatures then are fairly warm in its path until it gets to China at least, around 28 degrees generally all the way until it passes Taiwan and then it drops down to around 26 or so but that's still definitely um, warm enough to sustain a tropical storm and there it is at the moment moving towards the northwest in between the Philippines and, and Taiwan at the moment and is expected to move towards the northwest as it has been doing for the past um, little while actually moving over the Philippines briefly and um, this is the satellite imagery you can see the core of the storm moving directly over the um, northeastern tip of Luzon and then moving towards the northwest um, possibly more clearer in this flo floater imagery this is the past uh, 6 to 12 hours probably um, the storm moving towards the northwest and you can see the uh, rainfall associated with the storm still affecting the Philippines and indeed affecting Taiwan as well. That's why there's heavy rain warnings in effect in Taiwan at the moment. Um, and obviously the same will probably be expected in China and um, of course it's probably going to be a bit more of a situation than it would have been otherwise with the passage of Sulik not too long ago will probably um, cause a bit of flooding on the already saturated grounds particularly in central and northern parts of Taiwan and along the uh, western coast of China. Um, but this is the storm moving. You can see um, a little bit of intensification is on the cards, perhaps maybe to 45 or 50 miles per hour, but no more than that, I should imagine. Looking at the World Tropics, then for July the 17th, as of 3 p.m. UTC, nothing going on el anywhere else except for the Western Pacific. Though in the Western Pacific, it is fairly busy. There are three systems active now. Uh, Simmer, of course, to the north of the Philippines, and two Invest, Invest 94W, which the models are hinting of development, and Invest 95W, which was designated earlier, though. There isn't really much associated with that system at the moment. You can see it just towards the um, uh, out in the ocean to the south of Japan and 94W is the one we're going to be watching as well after Cimarron, um, that could turn into quite a storm as well. Um, one of the models are predicting at least a typhoon for that one, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Obviously, Cimarron is the now the seventh storm in the Western Pacific, so that's number seven. Two typhoons still, I doubt Cimarron will become the third, and one typhoon of Category 3 st strength or higher, that was of course Sulik. Um, still a little bit of a way to catch 2010, which is the um, currently the least busiest season on record, but it is only July and there is a very long way to go. Seven storms um, I think it will be quite, um, I think, um, above average just about for the Western Pacific this year, maybe. We'll have a, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, but take a look at the website, force13.com forward slash storm tracking. Uh, that's the main page for the storm tracking pages where you can see which storms are currently active. And it is updated more often these videos come out. So it is uh, worth checking. Please do. And you can go elsewhere on the web as well, Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 is on uh, both of those channels. And um, don't forget to show your support, please do. Uh, send in the message if you wish, um, if you have any questions about the storm or indeed anything else tropical related, um, I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, but for the time being, the next bulletin will be coming up at around midnight UTC, that will be bulletin number 44, and there might be another update on Simmer and Join the Day tomorrow on uh, July the 18th. But that's all for now.